First, we start by loading Mac Federation and VR forces. In VR forces, we load a scenario without any elements. After starting VR forces, we can see that Mac HLA has now two federates. Now, we can see the disk simulator. This simulator has three ships. These ships will be transmitted to HLA and Syntis when the simulation starts. In the same machine, we can see the Syntis without any elements. Sibdis is waiting to connect to its server and for the information to come. This machine is the DDS core and all the gateways. We start the simulation. We can see all the elements starting. These elements are a scheduler simulation engine that loads all the simulation modules the ACS that is the central controlled console and all the gateways to DIS, VR forces and SIMTIS when everything is started we can command the state machine with ACS we initialize and execute the state machine in this moment all the simulation is running Data is being transmitted between VR forces, DDS, and this. This information appears in Syntis. When the Ubuntu machine starts the simulation, VR forces receives the elements of this simulator. In this case, these elements are three ships. In Mac, we can see that there are now three federates. The third one is the gateway with the DDS domain. Now we are going to create a submarine in VR forces. This submarine is set to patrols between two waypoints. The data of this submarine is sent to DDS and Syntis. We can see the submarine moving in Syntis. Now, we are going to create new elements from DDS. In each one, we can change any parameter before creating them. First, we create an airplane. This airplane then sends a flare. Note that the flare is a different simulation model and it is dynamically created by the airplane. We can create any number of airplanes, or flares. Finally, we create a launcher, a helicopter. This launcher then, launches a missile.
The same process can be seen in VR forces. We can see the airplane. This plane then sends flares. With this, we finish the simulation.